I have to go to the lifeline of the show, which are the telephone callers. Good evening. Is it a good afternoon, uh, Mariano from the United States? Good afternoon, uh, Sasa. How are you doing? I am terrific. How are you today? I'm doing great. What is your question, Mariano? Well, uh, I want to thank you, and uh, I want to thank also my colleagues. Uh, it is clear, actually, uh, as you see in front of you, uh, the leadership actually are trying to, to run away from the facts. Uh, fact that South Sudanese are dying. Are, uh, they, dying? Is, are they dying they, from what you know? They are dying from the government. Government has committed atrocities for, for almost three years, consistent daily. And the idea that the ambassador getting denying the genocide, you have read, read Moit, the representative, is right there in that studio. His own brother was killed. He was killed in 2014. It's part of the genocide. People were killing Juba. Can you confirm that, Mr. Ambassador? Yes. Does he know this gentleman? Can he, can, can he define the genocide? Did he read the report of the African Union? We talk about Perhaps, the report of the African Union. If one person is killed, is my brother, my brother is killed. Can you call now, it a genocide? Marianne, no, the African Marianne, Union report says Marianne, that there is no genocide in Juba. That took place in Juba. Marianne. Go and read the report, yes. please, Marianne. You are talking about genocide. Yes. Genocide, genocide against who specifically? A specific Nuer community. The Nuer community. Cannot deny that. And Marianne, and Marianne, if I know anything about you, you happen to be Dinka yourself, correct? I'm, f I'm from being from Warab, you know, and we cannot oh. deny it. The only thing we need to accept, we need to accept what happened exactly in, in, in order to achieve the peace of our country. The denying of genocide of Nuer community has to, has to stop. Good example, you have gentleman in that studio, his name was Mo his own brother was killed. And he was a priest, he was a pastor. It has nothing to do with the government. But simply was killed because he was unaware. And, and, and the list, I had the list that I sent to the United Nations. The list of American community was killed in, in June 2013. So the idea that Pagana Mom or, or Ambassador uh, Gunung are denying, you know, they deny because they are part of this mess. Thank you. Thank you very much. Let's go to Cliff from Uganda. Good evening, Cliff. You are most welcome to Straight Talk Africa. Uh, good evening, uh, Ndugushaka. How are you? I am hugely terrific. How are you today? Very terrific, and uh, it's a pleasure to have once again Ambassador Garang. I remember interacting with him. I see. What is your question uh, tonight? Ambassador Garang. Yes, Ambassador Garang. What is the audience saying? Wait a minute. The peace agreement calls for peace and demilitarization of Juba. Are we yet to see peace keeping forces from the AU coming to pacify Juba? What criteria did Salva Kill use to appoint the band and gay to replace Dr. Rek, Rek Mashar? Because Dr. Rek Mashar was respected as the first vice president in the, in the peace agreement. So what did he use? to replace him. What is your take, Ambassador Garang? And thank you, Shaka. Thank you very much, uh, Cliff. Uh, let's go to Ghana before I come to you to answer. Good evening, Tafa from Ghana. You're most welcome straight to Africa. Hello, good evening, Shaka. How are you doing? Usually terrific. You have one minute. One minute, Tafa. Thank you very much, Shaka. Quick one. My question is that before the... I'm afraid it looks like uh, we have lost the Tafa from Ghana. Um, Ambassador Garang, would you please like to respond to Cliff from Uganda? Yeah, uh, my, my response to my brother Cliff is that uh, the only criteria that uh, the president used is that uh, the IO leadership nominated uh, uh, Commander Taban to, to replace Ring Mashar as the first vice president. In the agreement, you talk about the agreement. The agreement is not tailored to uh, Ryuk Mashar name or my name or uh, Taban name or anybody name. The agreement says that uh, the, the, the IO will, will nominate the first vice president. To, uh, this is according to the agreement. So that is, that, is, that is the criteria that was used. I see. So it is not the president that appointed him. It is his people nominated him to the president and he was appointed. I gather that uh, we do have uh, uh, Tafa again from Ghana, if you don't mind. Uh, although, of course, uh, that view is being contested. No, I gather we do not. Go ahead. Yeah. Finish, finish your point. Yeah, and, and, and the other point about the demilitarization of Juba. Uh, we we uh, started demilitarization Juba and we finished it. 
And when IO was coming to Yuba, everybody remembered that IO demanded to come to Yuba with heavy machinery, with mm -hmm. heavy guns and all this. What was the intention for that? The intention was that to start another war. And everybody knew that there was going to be war in Yuba because they said that they had, they had unfinished agenda that was going to take place in, in, in Yuba. And the, and the international community put a lot of pressure on the president that he should accept to the IO to bring on heavy missions, uh, heavy uh, 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 machinery. And the president accepted, uh, well, head into the, the, the will of the international community. And we have seen what happened when we, have two, when we had two armies in, 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 in Yuba.